One Look at This View, and the only Portuguese writer to win a Nobel Prize decided to make the Canary Islands his home for the final 17 years of his life. Este es el lugar, eh. Here's the kitchen where friends and many important names in politics and culture were invited in. Jose would sit here, Pilar Almodovar sat there, for instance. In the early 1990s, Portugal's conservative government blocked Jose Saramago's novel, The Gospel According to Jesus Christ, from receiving an international award. In protest, the author decided to leave Lisbon. Here in Lanzarote, Saramago opened his home to politicians and celebrities, and after he passed away in 2010, his home was turned into a museum, one where visitors are greeted with coffee and have a chance to glance into his home life. This is where I sit. We would chat, eat, talk about politics, what was going on in the world. Juan Jose is proud to show visitors around. After all, this is also his home. His mom, Pilar Del Rio, was married to Saramago for more than 20 years. This was Jose's study, where he wrote Blindness. The novel about a town quarantined after a mysterious epidemic was turned into a film by Brazilian director Fernando Mireles. This disturbing story about the ugliness of human nature is one of Saramago's best-known works. In the hard drive of this computer, we also found the sixth of the Lazarote notebooks. Nobody remembered it was here. It was the notebook that was written during the year he received the Nobel Prize. An olive tree welcomes visitors to Saramago's library. He built it in 2006 because his house couldn't hold his collection of more than 15,000 books. Even the tree is a story. Saramago brought it from Portugal as a memory of his childhood. Jose said he never imagined being able to make a living from literature. Him, a country boy of a humble family that only started writing books at the age of 60. In the late 1970s, Saramago interviewed peasants for his book Raised from the Ground. He realized his interviewees would never be able to read the piece, as they were illiterate. Social criticism has always been present in Saramago's works, but now the message was also in the way he wrote. That's when Jose starts to take out all the symbols, question marks, everything. He leaves only words. It's a way to show respect to the peasants. Jose described it as an oral style. The books were meant to be read out loud. After a long battle with leukemia, Saramago took his last breath in this very room. His reading glasses are still by the bed, and his legacy lives on in more than 30 books and this home. <laughs>